cricket? Absolutely, it's a great place to, to play cricket. We've we've played here a fair bit as a team, so um, always look forward to coming back to Canberra. So looking forward to getting started. Yeah, it's good to um, play some games here. I guess we got a World Cup cup game here but um, yeah looking forward to the tri-series first up England and India really great competition and it's going to be some quality cricket How important is this tri-series be? yeah it's massive it, it gives us a chance to get back and play together as a team it's been a little while since we've done that and uh, yeah against two quality quality sides I think it's perfect preparation for us do you guys view this little tournament as a as a warm-up are you trying things or is this Competition you want to win. <laughs> oh, we definitely want to win. I'm sure the other two teams will say this, the same thing. Um, I guess yeah, there may be an element of trying different things, but it won't be anything too drastic. It, it's about finding the, the best formula and the right combination, I guess. Um, we've got you know, uh, a really good squad to, to, to choose from, so you know, whichever combination we do go with, um, we're confident that they can get the result. I suppose there's no better opposition than England to try and warm up against. That's right, yeah. You know, we're heading into this series wanting to, to win and, and play some really good cricket and um, to get such good competition uh, from two of the, the world's best sides uh, certainly gives us um, you know, a great preparation heading into the, to the World Cup. Are you expecting them to come at you pretty hard? I think so, yeah. I mean, you know, in all our games against India and England in the, in the past, they've been really, really great contests, um, really high quality cricket, so we're expecting no different this time around. Out in paradise. And about <laughs> I'm not sure. I haven't looked at the wicket. Um, it's inter interesting to see how the game pans out tomorrow. Uh, but generally, it is a very good batting wicket and, and fast outfit as well. So um, I know everyone's looking forward to playing here. Fair bit of smoke around this morning. Have you been dealing with that? Yeah, there was a, a little bit around it. It's something I guess we've got to uh, keep an eye on. But um, we got through all our, our training today, um, and our, our doctors sort of keeping a, an eye on what that looks like. So um, it's sort of out of our hands, really. So it's it's not um, something we're, we're too concerned about. If um, you know, if we get delayed or things happen like that, we'll just have to to deal with it. But um, you know, obviously with the fires going on, there's a lot of devastation around the country, and and they're really the people that we need to, to worry about and support. Is, is there a worry kind of between the? the smoke and I guess the heat at the same time? Uh, I'm not too sure what that combination means. It's obviously, yeah, going to be pretty hot over the weekend, but uh, it's a summer sport and we expect conditions like that, so um, we're really reasonably used to it as well. So uh, we'll sort of leave those decisions to, to the doctor and the, the match ref. Um, they're sort of the, the experts in that and um, yeah, they'll make those decisions and we'll just go with whatever happens. Has it impacted training at all so far? Uh, we adjusted our training slightly. Obviously it was a little bit smoky this morning, but it's pretty good now, so we just sort of flip things around. So um, it didn't stop us from doing anything. Um, we were just being smart, I guess, and not taking any undue risks. How did Ash train today? She was good. She had a bat um, and a bowl in the nets and participated in the fielding as well. So uh, at, at the moment, she's on track to be fit and available for, for the weekend. So um, it's good news for her and, and for us as well. So obviously already a few superstars on the team, but... Are you backing anyone over the next six weeks to really kind of come out of their shell, become a household name? <laughs> uh, yeah, hopefully we've got some good contributions across the squad. Um, Taylor Vlamick's jumping out of her skin to, to be involved and is bowling faster than the nets and, um, you know, sort of testing us in, in that environment. So um, I certainly see he, her, um, you know, do well. I think um, she's a, a bit of an X factor for us. So, yeah, hopefully she can perform and do well. Um, you came up against a few, or you played with some England players in WBBL. Is that giving you any intel on how you might approach <laughs> that in Amy? Uh, I guess they've probably got some intel on us as well, so it works both ways. Um, you know, to be fair, there's there's nowhere to really hide on the international stage anymore. Every game's televised, and you can get footage of it. So, um, you know, planning wise, every team's sort of ready for for what you've got, your your strengths and weaknesses. So, um, yeah, yeah, we'll do our our research and and be as well prepared as we can, and I'm sure the other teams will do that as well. This is the newest newish playing strip. It is, yeah. This is the Indigenous playing strip that we'll be, we'll be wearing on Saturday against England. So, um, you know, we've got the, the circle as well, the reconciliation circle we'll do before the game to show our commitment to reconciliation. And um, the, the top um, is sort of a, a sign of the team who went over to um, overseas, the first Indigenous team to travel overseas. So um, I guess just recognising their contribution and, and um, we're all really excited to be a part of it.